Shalom, Shalom, <clears throat> Warumya, back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Muhammad Kakadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Dub honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of talk, but it's true. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, in these last days, man. Just praying to be a part of the hopeful elect. As you see on the screen, this article, pretty much just a couple articles online that I found today. It says, scientists just created mice with two fathers after making eggs from male cells. I don't know if you caught that or not. <laughs> it says, want to guess what the next step would be? And I'll leave it up to you. Man, we living in a very demonic day and age, man. We are truly in the last days, man. Well, you just seen that article about the mice uh, having a male, uh, they created uh, male eggs out of basically the man cells. Man, that truly tells you that we're at the end, man. We are truly, truly at the end, man. In the return of our Lord and Savior, how about Shemmy Alshah, man? Got two heavy demonic videos I'm going to play. Let me get some scriptures. <laughs> This little Uzi verse in here make a city girl believe in Satan. I'll play it one more time. It's just 10 seconds. And you see this. <laughs> one second. A fashion runway inside of a church? And excuse me, miss, but what are you doing? There are so many things that happened in London during the fashion week that do not sit right with And number one on my list is posing as some demon creature in the middle of St. John's Church. I have a million questions. First of all, who is letting a fashion show happen inside of this church? And a dress made out of knives? I mean, at least respect the church with the stuff that you're wearing. All of them are just dark and demonic. And just when we thought it was a normal dress, she has her hands tied behind her back. Okay, this is a brand called Diesel. And yeah, their runway looks pretty creepy, but the audio they play in this video, I mean, my jaw dropped. Go watch at your own discretion. I think it starts around like the seven minute mark, but wow just wow this runway was an exact replication of a masonic temple pay attention to the checkered flooring look at the two pillars and the sign in the middle of the two pillars and this is the masonic temple and the whole balenciaga scandal was the first red flag of the fashion industry but today opened my eyes that there's a lot more that we don't know about and i'm about to go do some digging on these companies and we're gonna find yeah man so ho hopefully they won't cut my Cutting my uh, video, man, because we are truly living in that time, man. <clears throat> Job 9.24, man, it says it all. And I ain't going to get that <laughs> scripture because we sh we all know that one by heart. But I'm going to get uh, 2 Thessalonians. And uh, we'll start at verse 1. It says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of Yahweh Shahamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him. And that's the brethren, man, the hopeful elect. That be, but ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shah, uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is at hand. And we truly see that everything that the Lord said was going to come to pass has came to pass, man. We're just waiting on a couple other, couple of small things and the major thing to come. It's that. Revelation 13, 16 through, 9, uh, 16 through 18, man. But just the demonic things we're seeing, man, the Lord, this is what the Apostle Paul was saying, man, that we know the Lord, Yahweh says, as that the day of Yahweh Shah Mashiach is at hand, and our Lord is at hand. Verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that, that, for that day shall not come except there be a fallen away first. And that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And a man of sin has been revealed, man. We know exactly who that is. That's Esau Edom, man, so-called white man, that you see this conjuring up all this demonic energy all over the planet, man. That fashion show alone, man, that shows you, man. And then you got a uh, Uzi Vert. We know why he's saying that, man. They put him, they put him up to do that. 
it says, uh, and I'm pretty sure he does, he, he does worship him. So, I mean, I can't say he, he's innocent in no way. But we know who was the, the leader of that, that pack, you know, in other words, man. He got to do these demonic things to even be, to even have a contract. It says, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the most high power? And that's him, man. He above his, his the Lord's people. And he's above, he's on earth, man. He's ruling over the earth, man. He's controlling everything that goes in and goes out, man. What you have to take, what you got to eat, everything is controlled by Esau Edom, man, so-called white man, who is a son of perdition. It says, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the most high power, man, or that is worship, so that he, see, that is worship, so he put <laughs> in a church, so you know the church is not, not with the Lord at all, but he, he, just, he just said it, man. He said, that is worship. They put a, a, a demonic fashion show in a church that was on purpose man so he, he wants to be worshiped and where the you know he want to wor be worshiped where the, where the lord is supposed to have his worship at man which we know that um esau these so-called edomite churches they, they don't got the lord is not in them houses anyway but let me continue on he says who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the most high power or that is worshiped so that he as 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 power sitteth in a temple of power, showing himself that he is power. See that? He put him in a church, man. You know what I'm saying? That's plain. He said, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you of these things. See that? We knew these, we know these things now, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And now ye know that withholding that he might be revealed in his time. And that time is now. We're in the last days, man. Esau Edom is revealed. It says, For he for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. That's Babylon and great. Only he who know, it's like even only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And Esau is soon to be taken out of the way, man. And that's biblical prophecy. This is Isaiah. Because he is truly after the working of Satan. Everything he do is demonic. Nothing he has or nothing he does is after the working of Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, man. And we, what did the scripture say? What is it? Uh, Philippians about wrestling with um, um, principalities. And his, his, his fall is near, man. This is um, Isaiah 12 and a verse, um, it's like Isaiah 14 and I'm starting at verse 12. It says, now art thou fallen, I said, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weakest, did did us weaken the nations? For now has slucky, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will sit sin ascend above the in slucky, man, we'll slow down. He said, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of power. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, man. We just read in Thessalonians, precepts perfectly with that with Thessalonians, man. He basically just repeated it. And he's falling, man. Esau is on his way down, man. He's spiraling down faster than you could you could ever believe, man. For what he did, because he thinks he's God, man. For him trying to manipulate cells and genes and shit to, to create a man to uh, make a baby, man. That's against you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, man? That, that's totally against the Lord, man. And the Lord is going to deal with them, man, horrifically. Verse 14, it says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And that's what they're trying to do, man. they going to go into the heavens with their space stations and um, their, um, with their, um, those, um, the vehicles they use, what is it, spaceships and shit like that, man? They, they, they can go up in the heavens, and now he's uh claiming to be the Most High, man. He's like, he's being able to manipulate and kill people when he wants to, create um the food, splice food and shit. Put uh, I mean you know all the stuff that man Esau does, man. I don't even got a name all the shit, man. He said, yet he shall be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, man. So his his dis distinction, we shall the the um his fallen he's falling quickly man into the size of the pit and that's the hellish condition in the kingdom of hell man i mean kingdom of heaven it's lucky his kingdom is going to be the kingdom of hell and that's what we in now we're in the kingdom of hell 
Because everything they do is, is hell, man. They brought hell on earth. This is Revelation, not Salakia. This is um, Isaiah 31, verse 3. It says, now the Egyptians are men. And that's talking about Esau, man. They are the modern day Egyptians. And are not the most high power. And their horse is flesh. So they think they can fight against the most high. They got weapons and shit. They're spaceships. They're, they're, they're just flesh, man. And not spirit. So the Lord's vehicles and his people are, are spirits. It says, when you have about Shimei Shasha stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall fall, and they shall fall to fail together. So if you connect it with Esau in any type of way, man, you're gonna fail with them, man. It says, shall fall, and they shall all shall fall fail together. So, like I said, if you connect with Esau in any type of way, man, you're gonna fall with them, man. You're going to fall with his system. You're going to fall with his kingdom, man. His hell, 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 his, his hell, the kingdom of hell, man. This is the kingdom of hell, man. Everything is demonic. Everything, man. Ain't nothing you can say this is the Lord is, is dealing with in this society, man. Nothing. The schools, the churches, nothing you can say this the Lord is, is, is in this place, man. They X'd out the Lord, man. That's in Revelations um, 11 and 8. This is, um, let me start at verse, let's start at verse one. It says, power standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. He said, how long will ye judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? Salah. Defend the poor and fathers. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the hand of the wicked, man. And that's what that's what we hoping the Lord to do soon, man. Rid us out the hand of the wicked, man. And this is hell here. It says the point. Uh, this is verse five. It says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk in on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth is out of course, man. And that's our people, man. They don't know Esau the wicked, man. They don't know that um the the course, the foundation of the earth is out of course, man. <clears throat> the moon, the sun. The fruit, the animals, man. They, they making um making animals have sex with each other, man. Male on male, man. And they naturally, they naturally know which way to go, man. They don't they, don't, they know not to go to a man, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a male. The animals know, you know what I'm saying, to go to a female, man. That's naturally. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got I got dogs and shit, man. I, they know not to, you know what I'm saying? I got a, a male and a female. They know, you know what I'm saying, where to go. In other words, man, it's common, man. It's common sense. The Lord put the spirit on them to know right from wrong, man, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But they spray shit in the air. They give them different, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, medicines and different shit to make them, you know, lose their mind for the most part, man. You know what I'm saying? There's no way an animal should go for, a, a male should go for another male. This is um, Romans 18, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, for the wrath of power is revealed from heaven against the, all the ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. And that's Esau, I man. He hold the truth in unrighteousness. He says, because that which may be known in power is manifest in them. So they know the Lord don't, don't like wickedness, man. They know the Lord don't want a man on man. It says, for power have showed it unto them. So they know. They know for a fact what not to do, what to do. He says, because he left, uh, missing Jude, he said he left um, um, Sodom and Gomorrah as an example. It says, for the invisible things of him from power have been, have, have shown it unto them. For, it's like, I read that again. It says, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the thing, the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. So the Lord made them without excuse. When the judgment of Yahweh by Shem comes, they're, they're going to be without excuse, man. Because they knew from the foundation of the earth what to do and what not to do, man. Es Esau knew from the, from the all the way back to Cain and Abel. Um, they, so they knew, man. The Lord set these things up in, in order from the foundation of the world, man. And they knew for a fact what to do and what not to do. So Esau is Esau and two thirds of our people are going to be without excuse. This is Job four, and I'm gonna start at verse eight. It says, "Even 
Let me start at verse 7. It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, man. So nobody's going to be innocent in that time, man. And you know what I'm saying? This goes back, you know, if you, you, the ancient world, if you did something in the ancient world or, or, or you know, so you come back in your regeneration, man. But then, I'm speaking of this time, man. Whoever, who's so the Lord going to put a lot of people to death, man, and who's going to perish being innocent? None of, nobody's going to be innocent, man, because they had time to repent, man. Especially the, you, you Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you had time to repent, man, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So remember, I pray thee, whoever, being, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So you ain't going to be cut off if you're righteous. You know what I'm saying? Because if you repent and came back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Lord going to be with you, man. Even in death, you know what I'm saying? If you get put to death, you know what I'm saying, by, you know what I'm saying, one of these, uh, you know, by Esau, in other words, man, the Lord going to be with you in that time, man. He says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So if you ain't doing what the Lord wants you to do, man, or putting forth any effort to repent and come back to you, how about Shemmy Alshine, praying that the Lord be with you, man. You're going to reap what, you're going to reap what exactly what Esau is going to reap. It says, by the blasting of the Most High Power, they perish. So the Lord going to bring great destruction on you, man. And by the breath of his nostrils, they are they consumed. So you're going to be consumed because you didn't take heed to your how about you now. I mean, everybody had time, man. It's, it, I, we, we praying for the time to be cut short now, man. Everybody had time, man. Everybody, man. Because you know, the man of the Lord been prophesying this, this information in, in, in the prophecy. Prophesying the the scriptures, man, for a long, long time now, man. So nobody's gonna be able to say they didn't know, man. Back in the Second Thessalonians two, and I'm gonna just drop down to verse eight. And it says, "And when it's, a, it's like it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh by Shemiah Al Shasha consume with the spirit of his mouth." And that's the prophets and the apostles and elders, the prophets that speak on the speak on the highways and byways, make lessons. We are prophesying the downfall of Babylon and great, man. So we'll consume it, Esau with the spirit of his with the spirit of his mouth. He says, and and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So now the Lord is destroying him with the with the with the spirit of his mouth, and then the brightness of his coming gonna be the the, the, the end of end, end of all things, man, for Esau. End of everything he had prepared, planned, 20, 30, 20, 50, all these agendas and shit he got put up, man. That's gonna be the end of that, man. So the Lord got us on the highways and byways, prophesied the downfall of his kingdom and the end of all the things he have created, man. We want, to, we want it all at the end. It says, the, it says uh, the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So he's on his way, man. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. And that's Esau Edom. I just said that. With all power and signs and lying, lying wonders, and that's what he did. All, all signs, all the signs he did, lying wonders, man, trying to make two men have kids, man. Naturally, like a natural birth, man. That is, that is out of. And that's why they have. I, I don't know for sure, man, but I believe that's the reason why there's so many. Um, um, what you call those births when they cut the baby out of you? I forgot what they say. That shit is called. Um, damn. But shit, for the most part, man. Everybody in the last, I say, last ten years, man. C-section. They've been having a lot of C-sections, man. Last, last, I say last 10 years, man, every every child I've been around, mother, had a C-section. So it's, it's something to that C-section they're doing, they're practicing for what they have planned now, man. I can't say for sure, man, but it's just a good feeling I got that they, they've been doing a lot of C-sections and stuff just to practice on trying to do, do that shit to a man, man. Man, we live in a fucking wicked, wicked society, man. Wicked as fuck, man. Just to even think about this shit. That's 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 crazy, man. It says, um, verse 10, it says, And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. And that's two-thirds of our people. They ain't receiving the love of the truth, man, because they didn't want to. That they might be saved. They didn't want to be saved, man. That's man. That's fucking out of man. All the all the shit you see online on YouTube, Insta, Instagram, shit, even Facebook, man. Everything you see, man, is, is leading up to the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. Because it's, it's gonna reach the point, man. It, it, the wickedness has, has exceedingly polluted the entire planet. Not just the not just the the um the people, but the fucking animals, the damn fruit, the food, the the everything, man. 
the people. The list goes on, man. Verse 11, it says, And for this cause, power shall send them strange, strong delusion that they shall believe a lot. So that these people are going to believe that Esau is with them and going to help them and, and believe that everything they're doing is uh, going to be beneficial to them. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. So you can be damned if you didn't believe in Yahweh Bashem El Shai and the men of the Lord he has set up on earth today, man. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. So they want to continue with these parties and playing and having fun and shaking their ass on YouTube and shit all over the you know internet for the most part, man. Because uh, you join Esau, the Lord said you're going to be destroyed with him. And he has a, man, he hate Esau, man. That's the reason why I'm just going to start at verse Start at verse 3. This is Malachi 3, 1 and 3. It says, And I hated Esau <laughs> and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, and I will throw down. And they shall be called, it's like it, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, the people against whom Yahweh Bashem Yahushua hath indignation forever. So the Lord has indignation against these people forever, man. And no one can save Esau. You, you want to be joined Esau? That's, that's, just, that's just tough titty, man. You got, you, you, I, just got, I, I know a couple of good, nice Edomites and shit. But um, it was some good slaves, too. But they went into slavery as well, man. So this is the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Shah. He judges the entire nation, man. So you know, it, it ain't no good ones either. So, you know, so I'm just saying that for somebody that think, well, my friend, she let loan me $200 one time. Shit, she owed it to you. <laughs> Shit. All the hell we done went through. Shit, she owed you that. She owed you that. They done benefited from it shit, 30, 40 times. And you can go on and on about <clears throat> what Esau done done to us, man, and how he done it. But this is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus Sirach. And I'm going to just drop down to uh, I started um, 23. It says, when thou art present, no, I'm starting 22. He that winketh with the eyes worketh evil, man. And that's what Esau, he does behind your back, man. Right in your face. He'll turn, you turn, you be in your face, and he'll talk good to you. Turn your back, he'll wink. Do something wicked to him. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't saying any, I mean, everyone, but you know what I mean. It says, uh, but it, that's what they do, man. You be at your job and shit, they'll be talking good to you, and then go start to supervise on you. It says, and he that knoweth him that will depart from him. You know, you know, eat them, eat them might be wicked as hell, man. You'll depart from them, man. You won't be joined with them. It says, when thou art present, he will speak sweetly and will admire thy words. But as, but at the last, he will write of his mouth, he will write of his mouth and slander thy sayings. So he'll manipulate what you said, manipulate what you what you told him, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll speak it another way. He says, I have hated many things, but nothing like him. Woo, what the Lord is saying, uh, Malachi, uh, Malachi. He hate them, man. He says, I ha I hated uh, many things, but nothing like them, like, nothing like him. For you how about Shimei Al-Shai will hate him. That's plain, man. I'm gonna read that one more time. He says, I, will, I have hated many things, but nothing like him. For Yahweh by Shem Shah will hate him. Whoso casteth a stone on a high, on high, casteth it on his own head. And a deceitful stri stroke shall make wounds. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. And he that setteth a, setteth a trap shall be taken therein. So, you know, that's what Esau's doing. He's setting up a trap, man, but he's going to fall in his trap, man, going into that MOTB. He says, um, 27, he says, and he that work of mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it cometh. It says, um, mockery and reproach are from the proud, 
but vengeance is as a slow, uh, is as as a lion shall lie in wait for them. And that's your house shot, man. He says, "They that rejoice in uh, they that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare, and anguish shall consume them before they die." And that's what's going to happen. Esau going to get burnt up, and then they're going to die, man. He says, "Malice and wrath, even these are abomination, and a sinful man shall have them both." See, so you know, say so you join the Esau either, man. It's a time to repent, come back to your own people, man. Come back to your how about Shimmy Al Shah, man. Because we're preaching to you the, the truth, man. So I'm in it there, Lord, when it was edifying.